Okay, let's talk about the types. All right. Two different types. The first is single stage. This one has a rubber auger that not only scoops up the snow, but throws it out the chute. And it has a manual chute that'll go back and forth on the top. Now that auger literally touches the surface as it turns around. Yeah. So it's great for asphalt and concrete, but I wouldn't use it on a loose stone. Because it's likely to throw that stone. Right out and break a window. Okay, and we can throw the snow any direction we want by moving that guy. Yep. All right. Now, the basics of it, starting it, okay? There's a manual start where you turn the key, push down on this primer, and pull on the lever. Just like a lawnmower. Right. But it also has an electric start. And we just take the cord. I'm going to plug it in. And I guess you want to use a GFCI plug, something That's out right. in the garage exactly. possibly. Yep, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to turn it to run, we're going to prime it, and hit it. Hey, that's nice and easy. Yep. That's going to be real helpful when this thing's been idling in the garage all season. Ear protection all the time, all okay? Right. Now, to drive that auger, you simply pull back on that blade. It's a safety feature. When you let go, the auger stop. Let go. Auger shuts right down. Let's blow some snow. Works nice, Roger. I like it. Well, it's a great machine, Kevin, for up to like eight inches of snow on a small driveway. Right. Over that, you need a two-stage machine like this one. Okay. What makes it a two-stage? Well, let me show you on this one. I cut this one off so you could have a good look at the insides. If you look here is an auger. Now that auger turns slowly and feeds the snow into the machine. Okay. And it feeds it into this impeller, which turns very, very quickly, firing the snow out the chute. So one feeds and one throws. Two stages, two gotcha. moving pots. And okay. even look on this one. See this old crank? That's how you turn the chute yeah. around. Okay. All right, well this one's obviously seen better days. So That's let's take sure. a look at the new guy here. Take a look here. Now, we have a big steel auger feeding into that impeller on the inside. Right. Now this auger is kept off the ground a little bit. So these are rigid and they're real tough. You don't want to be digging into your concrete or your asphalt. No, this is why this would be good for an area that might be gravel or stone that you wouldn't kick the stone up. Okay. Look at this joystick. You can just make it go oh. any way you want <laughs> and quickly. Great. Easy to operate. That's right. Okay, and, so now I would imagine that we've got something controlling um, the auger, the impeller. What about the wheels? Is this going to drive itself? Yeah, there's two separate systems. There's one that drives the auger and there's one that drives a wheel, a transmission. Here, if you put down this lever, it's going to engage your wheels. Yep. You put down this lever, it's going to engage your auger and you're going to start throwing snow. Now on this one, you have an electric start, yep. but let's do it manually this time. Okay. So what I want you to do is turn it to choke. Here's the choke here. Choke all the way over. All the way over this way. Up, all the way up yep. for the speed, for the fuel. Prime it, push that three times. Get some fuel up there to the carburetor. There you go, give it a pull. Let's see how we do. Take the choke off once it starts. Gotcha. All right. There I go. Right. Engage your wheels. Well, let's talk some safety issues. Before it snows, I'd like you to check your driveway. Make sure there's no tree limbs, kids' toys, even a newspaper hanging around mm -hmm. that could get in it. Also, look for your landscape lighting. You don't want to run over one of those and have it jam up. Jams up into this auger, you're likely to break your transmission? Well, that shouldn't happen because they've designed it with shear pins. Now, these are weak pins. When the auger hits something, they break and fall out, allowing the drive shaft inside to turn, not damaging the gears. Now, these are what they look like. Huh. So it's nice to have a few around. So these are meant to be sacrificed, and I guess it's a lot easier to change one of these pins than it is to change your transmission. Mm, that's for sure. Okay. Now, the other problem is the chute. Inevitably, heavy, wet snow, the chute will get jammed, and you don't want to ever put your hand in there. There are thousands of people who go to the emergency room every year because they stick their hand down there and get a finger injury. Right. What you want to do is shut the machine off. Come in with a wooden stick and try to poke out the clog this way, lift it up, go in here and try to clear the impeller and get it moving again. Then you can restart the machine and go back to work safely. Got it. All right. Well, thanks for the tips.